Ah, welcome back, good looking. It's been a while since I've seen you. I guess that means that life's been going too well. Or too bad. That bar stool's been missing you this week. Hardly anyone ever wants to sit in the direct middle like you do. Well, fine. It wasn't just the stool who missed you. I've missed you too. The tangents of your day-to-day -day life never fail to make me smile. They're the highlight of my week, and that's coming from a bartender. Go ahead and take a seat. Get cozy, settle in, and I'll prepare your usual. You can tell me all about what you've been up to. I expect some dazzlingly wild stories after this long. And you wouldn't want to disappoint your friendly bartender, would you? Excellent. I'm all ears. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Oh, wow, you don't say. You know what, handsome. Plenty of people come in here to drink for no deeper reason than the drink itself, but the majority have incredibly sad stuff that they're dealing with. You, on the other hand, you're one of the most entertaining customers I have, despite your own baggage. You don't need the alcohol to get through anything. You drink for fun, but... It's not like you needed to start spouting the crazy stories about your job and your home life. Ah, if I could wave a magic wand and have anything, I'd wish for all my customers to be as entertaining as you are. Another? You got it, handsome. Don't think I won't keep pouring if it means those loose lips keep feeding me all your gossip and adventure. I've been doing this job a while, you know. I've heard some crazy stories in my time, but I don't think anyone has had a regular 9 to 5 job with so much enjoyable drama that hasn't driven them insane. You're a glutton for it, I'd say. How else could you function without that optimistic spunk? It's admirable how you swallow down so much toxicity and seem to, excuse the phrase, but vomit up positivity in response. It's so refreshing to hear someone recount the events of their life without crumbling under the weight of every little inconvenience being thrown on top of them. I mean, don't get me wrong, everyone needs a place to vent their frustration with life. And it's absolutely valid. Why do you think we do such stiff business here? But it's the bulk of what I hear from one night to the next. Hearing about people's exes, or the poor state of the economy, or the struggles of work, it all starts to blend together after a while. But then you come in with your lively smile and endless cheerfulness. And you can't help but stand out, like a bright splash of color in a gray room. I'm sorry, I know I say this every time, but that's just how much I appreciate you. Alright, alright, if you need another few drinks to stop laughing at my feelings, I'll fill that glass right up. You're really making up for lost time tonight, aren't you? Drink the bar dry after avoiding me for a week, hmm? If it wasn't the weekend, I'd have cut you off by now. But you're way easier to handle than a lot of other people when they've lost their senses. At least you smile and laugh instead of sobbing all over my bar. Ah, I get so bored wiping up all the tears, you know. Hmm? Ah, that's right. You do all your crying in private, and come to the bar to party, whatever works the best for you. Though I just want to say that 
I'll always be here if you ever did need to cry somewhere other than your room. Maybe complaining about the string of depressed drunks crying about their lives is my way of doing the exact same, but that doesn't mean that I can't have a personal stake in some people from my job. I'd gladly let you cry all over my bar or my shoulder if you really needed to. Sometimes you seem so happy that it's unreal and I worry for you, but at the same time, that spark in your eyes tells me that it's not an act. Hmm. I think this will be the last drink I'll pour for you tonight. Any more would be irresponsible of me, and you're already talking nonsense. Now drink up and enjoy. This might be intensely unprofessional of me to say, but you're really cute when you're intoxicated. No, no, I'm serious. I'm, I'm used to watery-eyed, stuffy-nosed men or giggling women with smeared layers of makeup, but you, you take it gracefully. Those cheeks get such an adorable pink flush. Your eyes seem to sparkle more than usual, and that smile never loses its genuine charm. It helps that you don't try to get up and dance around or bother other patrons. You just sit there, all nice and happy, while the buzz goes through you. Even when you're over the edge like this, and barely comprehending what I'm saying, at least you're fairly quiet and easy to handle. Hmm. You don't even know how tempting you look when you get like this, do you? That sweet vulnerability mixed with your handsome face and lowered inhibitions. You should be careful, even in an area as tame as this handsome. Some might call you alluring at the most sober of times, and nearly irresistible when you are so helpless. I feel like you're more responsible than this usually, but you're an adult, and if you wish to drink so much and transform into this delicate yet enticing beauty, I can't really complain about bearing witness to such a sight. But don't you worry, I'll look after you and keep you safe. I know that I tease you a lot, call you sweet little nicknames, and casually tell you you're cute, but it's not all flattery. I. I really think you're an amazing person, and a, a very beautiful one, both in looks and in spirit. It makes me wish that I could have met you as a fellow patron rather than a bartender. But I don't really know if I'd have the courage to talk to you without the excuse, to be honest. It's easy to talk to people when it's your job, as opposed to coming up with an icebreaker to hopefully strike up a conversation. I have a bit of an advantage, getting to talk to you regularly with no pretext but casual, friendly service. It's probably why I've been nervous to try to suggest anything more between us, but I feel like you've been dropping me some pretty major hints over the last month or so. I've seen enough people hitting on each other, in a flirty sense, as well as a brawling one, <laughs> while working here. I know what it looks like when interest shifts from casual to romantic. I've been picking up on those vibes from you lately. 
letting your fingers brush mine when I slide you drinks, winking at me when you lament being single, calling me a beautiful cat. <laughs> I wouldn't think anything of it if I didn't know what to look for. Maybe we've been teasing each other for long enough. I think the time is right, don't you? Ah, I knew it. I can spot a crush a mile away. Here, let me write you a little note on my bartender card. You told me last night that you wouldn't mind meeting up somewhere other than the bar for a proper date this time. Please text or call me if that would still interest you without the liquid courage. There, I'll put a little heart at the end with my phone number too, just in case you need it to be clearer for you when you sober up. There you go. I'll just tuck that right into your pocket for you. Now, I said that I'd keep you safe and take care of you, and I will. Starting with this glass of water. Drink all of it, okay? I'm gonna call you an Uber since I'm pretty sure you took one to get here, right? Very good. Just sit tight for me and I'll make the call. Go home, get some sleep, and I'll hope to hear from you soon, alright? <laughs> That's my good boy. I can't wait to talk to you off the clock.